Also this noontime, a significant change to a major Rhode Island landmark. The Newport Mansion, the Breakers, is breaking ground in a new building, a welcome center. The change to the historic layout, though, has taken some major criticism over the past few years. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods has the details now going forward live in our newsroom. That's right. Well, I was at the ceremony in Newport this morning. There was a large crowd of supporters there. You can see some of them on this screen right here next to me. But as we previously reported, this project has created quite a bit of controversy over the last couple of years. The Breakers is owned and operated by the Preservation Society of Newport County alongside 10 other historic properties. They've been working to get this Welcome Center project approved for quite some time, telling me this center will provide for indoor ticketing, expanded modern comfort facilities like bathrooms and wheelchairs chair accessibility, as well as refreshment services. Their opposition, the Friends of Newport Preservation, a group of neighbors and fans of mansions, has been fighting this project for over a decade. They believe putting the Welcome Center inside the front gate will take away from the mansion's history. We asked the executive director and CEO of the Preservation Society about some of those claims this morning. Here's some of what she told us. One thing that I think is important for people to remember is that a lot of historic house museums around this country are failing and their attendance is declining. We are on the up and we want to keep ahead of the curve. This is going to be a, a, a really secret gardens area that I think will be very pretty and it will be heavily landscaped and beautiful. And you cannot see the Welcome Center from the Breakers itself. This Welcome Center would be uh, never used for weddings. It's actually quite small. It will uh, be closed at the end of the day. Uh, there will be no music. Uh, the cafe itself does not have a kitchen. It's all food that is brought in from the outside. Now I'm told that this Welcome Center will be completely done by this time next year, just in time for summer tourists. Live in the newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.